The confusion is coming. You better be ready here. We have. We talked about continuity. Continuity at a point. Continuity at a point. There's one thing we can talk about. We can talk about continuity on an interval. On an interval. So you could have a function here and say, here's my, uh, here's this function. It goes like this. There's a hole in the graph and it goes like that. Okay. You could talk about continuity in a point and let's say this is C since that's the, what they always seem to use for arbitrary value. Although they use sometimes A, I guess. If you talk about continuity at a point, we're saying at that point is it continuous and the answer is no. We could say continuity over an interval, like if this was 1 and this was 2, we could say on the interval from 1 to 2, which in the textbook they use this uh, little, you know, those square bracket kind of notation, or, you know, like if x is between 1 and 2, right? On that interval, is this continuous? Are there any points of discontinuity? It says it's, it says... A function is continuous on an interval if and only if it is continuous at every point on the interval. Is it continuous at every point on that interval? No. There's a place, we, we already said, there's one place where it's discontinuous. So it is not continuous on that interval. I'm making a big deal about this because this is the one that troubles people. The definition of a continuous function. So we talked we talked about continuity at a point, continuity on an interval, and now we're going to talk about a, con a function being continuous. A continuous function. If you talk about a continuous function, this is where people start to cry because it says here, let's read it carefully. A continuous function is one that is continuous. So far, so good, right? <laughs> at every point, still would be okay at every point of its domain. That's the troubling part. This part right here. You're not crying yet. Okay. You see that there's this hole in the graph here, right? If you talk about that interval from 1 to 2, right? You talk about the interval from 1 to 2, it's definitely not continuous there. But the way I've drawn this, this is a continuous function. What, what's the, no, what's the domain of that function? What would the domain be for this function? Is it all real numbers? Except for C, right? The domain is X is X can't be C. This is a continuous function, is. Doesn't that make you mad? or uh, like You should be angry. Should be angry. It kind of gets off on a technicality, right? It's this, uh, it's this little clause at the end here, right? Point of its domain. Oh, point of its domain. If this wasn't here, that little technicality, that would not be a continuous function, right? It's not continuous at C. It's not continuous at C. We can all see that. It's not continuous if you go from 1 to 2, but it's a continuous function because the definition of continuous function is it's continuous at every point that it's defined, every point on its domain. It's not defined at C, so it says I'm not defined there. I'm continuous at every point where I'm defined. Everywhere where I exist, I'm continuous. That's troubling, isn't it? It is like a riddle. It's it's a technicality. It's like if you get off of a ticket for some technicality, right? You're speeding, police officer catches you speeding, writes you the ticket, puts down the wrong license plate or something. You go to court and say, Your Honor, this is not a ticket for my car. See here? And everybody knows you were speeding, except it gets thrown out because wrong license plate or whatever, right? Some technicality. This is a technicality. It's it's ba that's the definition of continuous function. It's everywhere it's defined, right? 
Because I guess it makes, I mean, you, you can't say, like, here's a function, is it continuous? Not over there. Well, I'm not even defined over there. That's not even my, you know, like, did you do a good job? Like, if you're, a, if you have a job, your job is to clean up some of these classrooms or something. Did you do a good job? Yes, because my job was to clean these four classrooms. But what about that one over there that's not clean? Well, that's not even my domain. I'm not even supposed to clean that one. I did a good job on the stuff that I was supposed to do, right? Everywhere it's defined, it's continuous. All right? So look at some places down here. I made these up. These are not some official functions presented by the Calculus Association of the World or anything like that. I made those up. There's no answer key. Some of them are going to make you argue with uh, each other and me, and I'm going to tell you, I don't know, would your definition of, if you're trying to decide are these continuous or not, there's somewhere we're going to end up just saying, uh, I don't know, you decide. Okay? Based on the definition, you make a decision and we'll compare. Okay? Let's, uh, let's think about these. Uh, this one right here. Is it continuous? The question is, is there a point where it's defined that is, that it's discontinuous? That's how you can decide, right? Is there a place where it's defined, part of its domain where it's not continuous? Well, obviously that's where you're looking, right? Is it defined there? It is, right? Because that's filled in. The ve like, it has a function value at that point, right? It has a function value there. It's a discontinuity, so this is, no, it's not continuous, right? Not a continuous function. The second one, exactly the same except it's not defined at that point. So what is this then? This is continuous, right? That is continuous. I know there's this jump and all of that, but the function isn't defined there. So every point on its domain, it's continuous. You put a dot on the function somewhere, it'll be continuous at that dot, right? Uh, what about this one? Yeah, it's, you're, you're, this one is a little, you're not as feeling as strong about it, right? But technically, again, you put a dot everywhere. I, I mean, if we're calling this an end point, then the definition of end point being continuous is it's one side, right? one-sided limit is fine. The limit from this side is fine. So I would say this is, right? Yes? I know there's this gap in the whole thing of x values, but what about this one? Every point on its domain. Yes, every point on its domain. No, because there's a place where it's defined and it. if it suddenly jumps, then, you know, I realize if this is a road and you're driving along, you're going to fall in the hole, right? But unless you jump over it somehow, but it's an infinitely narrow hole. That's right, yeah. Are we okay with that concept? Nobody's crying yet. This is actually a pretty quick section to, to cover, right? That was the biggest concept in here. Um, I know it is. Uh oh, you used.